Um, I did see the UFC on the weekend. Oh, did you? It, I don't even massive. know what happened. It was massive. I, there was a couple of Australians on the card. Uh, yeah, a couple of Australians, a couple of and a Kiwi, and um, and some other guys, and it was great. Yeah, and uh, give me a, a rundown, actually, because I, yeah. I'm absolutely – I'm a blank slate on this. Yeah, okay. Um, so the main the main fights – well, there was two title fights on the card. The Volk? Um, yep, the Vol- Volkanovski fought Yair Rodriguez, um, by all Who's accounts the yeah, nicest yeah. guy in the world. Oh, yeah. really? What's yeah, his name? No. Yair Rodriguez. Yair. He's a Mexican martial artist. Um and he's he went through a murderer's row to get his interim featherweight title. So this is there was a unification bout between him and Alexander Volkanovsky to decide who's the actual champ. Uh, why was it a reunification? Because What's going on? Volkanovsky went and fought for the belt above at lightweight. So the sort featherweights of, fought mm. for an interim title, which is yep. often how they do it. Yep. Uh, and then they unify those titles. Okay. So, and this murderous row that you speak of, mm. how many people did he neck? Just um, everyone, the whole division. It's just, it's more about the quality of the people he beat. Right. Um, okay. Because he did lose to Max Holloway, but. Max Holloway lost to Volkanovski three times now, so, so they're done with him. Yeah, they're like we can't put him up can't again. Can't put him up again. Yeah, um, but he had some good wins. His uh, win going into that one was actually in Perth uh, in February. So set up this fight okay. uh, against and, uh, and Volkanovski. Who won? Okay, so um, I'll just give you an overall of the card first. How, card how does Yair win? Is he? He said he's a nice guy. Does he just sort of hug him to death? What's he do? What's he? A game? friend of mine was telling me about Yair's um, frame of mind that he gets into. So he'll be he'll be shadow boxing or thinking about shadow boxing in a blank room. So you'd have to imagine just a, a very dark room, right? Okay. Yeah, all right. And he will create he will he will when he punches, he can see the lines of the direction of his strikes, right? He can oh. see lines. So when someone opens up an angle meaning they're guarding low or they're guarding their left or they're guarding their right. He can find these weird angles that nobody does. Oh, so Nobody like a, else strikes like he does. He's, he's a, a he's punching a, savant. Uh, and kicking. He's and, a murderous you know, he'll do savant. A lot. He'll do a freaking – he'll do a front – he'll do a front flip wheel kick on you, you know. Right. He's, so he's, he's, he's a, a bit of an artist. Yeah, I like him. I like him mm. a lot. And, and like I said before, by all accounts, the nicest guy in the world. Mm. Well, so, I mean, yeah, his his shadow, he's thinking about shadow boxing in a dark room. I, I don't know. That sounds the most passive uh, f- fighting um, practice I've question, ever heard. Let's of. not question it though, because the no, guy's obviously working. good at what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, he's doing yeah, his yeah. thing. He's, he's yeah, absolutely, the man. absolutely. Um, no, but Alexander Volkanovsky, they were they were they were clipping each other on the feet. It was he, he, li- he likes a good punch, doesn't he? He's I, – I, I'm so confused by him. I've been watching him for years now because I, I always talk about him like every fight. I'm like, well, he probably can't beat this guy because this guy's really good, you know. Mm. Every fight I'm just – You just write ah, him off. He'll, he, he's got it. He's, he, I mean, he can't do this. He like, can't, do, can't, can't keep doing it. He can't yeah. keep doing it. He's been doing it for ages and he just keeps doing it. So he did it again. He did it um, again? He did Shit. it again. Yeah. And – it was a very even fight until there was this one weird moment in the third round where I think he just looked at Yair's face and went, oh, hang on a sec. I fucking got ya. you. Know, he, saw him, it, he saw he it just, in his face that he was beaten in, in his mind. Just and gave just him went, the old dirty squint, did he? Yeah, he just stir, you know, he gave him the, uh, the Larry him. David, you know, the, the hang on a minute. You're the, the, the juicy eyeball, yeah. And that, that and just... Yeah, he just fired up a sort of four-piece combo that ended in a brutal takedown and then just probably, probably you know how they do the punches when they're on the ground to try and get the ref to stop the fight via TKO? Yeah, yeah. Just, he probably just, landed a good 25 of them before. Mm, were were they mean, actually doing damage landed. though? No, no none no, of them no, landed. No. You just showed that the guy's not defending himself. It, You're like, exactly. I can do what I want on this guy. Look at me exactly. just raining down punches, even though I'm yeah. not doing any damage. Yeah, a he friend of mine asked me. me like, "What happens there?" And I just said, "Well, if he dropped his guard, and this sounds counterintuitive, but if he dropped his guard and took a punch, it shows that he's trying to do something. Whereas yeah. covering up without, like, you're not even yeah. looking at you're the strikes. Up. You're giving up now. Yeah, you just you, you're you've covered up. 
like how, you, yeah, you're they're, they're they're, if, if, if all you can do mm. um it yeah. is is yeah do defensive ball blows. curl mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm, i mean mm-hmm. how long i mean i know that there is the possibility when you're playing pokemon of you can win i think some people try to win the whole thing just by doing defensive ball curl with a pokemon yeah they get the oh, magic a, magic a, or something yeah there's a bit of a strat there and i can yes. tell you i can tell you the history on that because okay. your pokemon has about a certain amount of pp right which is like points that you use when you use an ability. So That's say you like use mana, an ability like kind of. yeah, mana exactly. Yeah. Mm. When you run out of mana, you can't do the ability anymore. So it does this other thing where it struggles. It just sort of wriggles on the spot, oh, okay. and that can do little <laughs> bits of damage. To oh, the but other see, team. that's different from covering up, isn't it? See, that's what the that's what the ref wants to see from you. A bit of a struggle, a bit of a wiggle <laughs> on the ground. Not you can't just defensive ball curl your whole life. Yeah. Oh, so that's yeah. what happens. So you run out of. Ball mana. curling, you're out yep. of mana, and then you're just struggling. Yeah, you're just wriggling on the spot and doing a little bit of damage. It's not but much. If you have, um, if I have Brock Lesnar, if mm-hmm. I've got Brock Lesnar in full mount, right, and he's defensive mm-hmm. ball curling, yes, and then he runs out of mana, right, and does yeah, a struggle, he'll fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, he'll fuck yeah. You so up. if you have a high <laughs> level, if you have a very high level Pokemon struggling, is that what you're telling me? Oh, no, nah, I just mean any Pokemon. Like As oh. long as you can keep it alive, keep throwing potions in it. I mean, I'm getting pretty Pokemon nerdy here. I mean, you could do that. But what the real pros do is two things. You could either send that Magikarp off to the nursery and leave it there because it'll get levels while you're away. And then you come back, level it up once, and it becomes Gyarados. Like it evolves into Gyarados, right? Is that the role? That's not a role. What's Gyarados? Oh, it's a big fish. It's just a big dragon thing. Oh. Magikarp turns into a big Gyarados. The, the idea is, is that this useless fucking thing that all it does is splash. Oh, it's yeah, only yeah, move yeah. splash turns into like a fucking beast Pokemon, right? But you That's have to right. give it time and love and all that sort of jam. The other strat you can do is you can make it your first person that you send out. So whenever you meet a trainer, it would be like, dun, 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 dun. Oh, and you'd be yes, like, go yes. Magikarp. And then immediately before it moves, you'd yeah. go bring it out, put your yeah. big boy in, put your Charmeleon out there. And fuck up everybody, and but he shares the experience, yeah yeah, 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 for doing nothing really, for, doing for just nothing. copping, copping a whack, for just being there, just no, just, yeah, not even being there, yeah, just so looking, just looked at him, just looked doesn't at him, copper whack, yeah, yeah, like no, the no. Volkanovsky dirty eye squint, you're just there, yeah, yeah getting yeah. the XP, yeah. but he did the damage, so he he rained down hammer fists upon, mm. yeah, yeah, they weren't hammer fists, they were hooks. He was just uh, mounted, not mounted, but um. Uh, he was standing in the guard and just raining down uh, big hooks. Yeah. And he, he won the fight pouring. and he's, he's yeah. the man. And okay. um, So who's he lost to then? Who's he lost to? Yeah. Um, only the guy he fought at lightweight. So he went up a division to fight for the lightweight belt and that was Islam Makachev and he lost to him. If you want to see his previous loss, you have to go back to pretty much 2013. Which was really? just some. Wow, no that's name. always he even. Yeah, okay, it's a long time. Um, you know, the rest of the card, though, I will say that overall the card was the bloodiest affair I've seen ever. Like the main card was just, you know, just the bloodiest card I've ever seen. Now, was the blood on the sponsorship logos on the floor, though? That's what they want, right? That's yeah, what they want. They yeah. want a big pool of blood around their beer logo. Yeah, so they, did they want to get can, their face smashed in like right on the logo? There was so much blood on the canvas that no one really got a blood <laughs> advantage from an adv- advertising perspective, right? No one really – they all broke even on the blood because it was it was, it was was pretty gnarly. Um, but really great fights. Um, there was uh, – the other title fight was just a barn burner. Who, who was that? They went to town. Um, it was a guy named Alexand- Alexander Pontoya and Brandon Marino. He's a Mexican uh, champion. He got dethroned okay. right. uh, in a really good – Split decision back and forth. Um, Robert oh. Whitaker lost to this. Um, oh, did he? This bloke, yeah, named Drykus <laughs> Duplessis, and Dan Hooker. He's this Kiwi guy, really good kickboxer. Yes. He beat this guy um, by decision, split decision. The his opponent actually uh, didn't make weight, so he would have picked up a bit of extra dollary dues as well, mm. just from his purse. Yeah. Um, which when that happens, you want the guy's purse to be like 500 grand, don't you? Because you take 20% of that. But if he's only making like 50 grand or something, then you're not, you only get like, you know, 10 or something. But okay. the point is that you get a bit of that purse. He gets kicked in the head in the first round. This by uh, Dan Hooker gets kicked hey. in the head by his opponent, Jalen Turner. 
so hard, man. It looked like a baseball bat. Just, oh, no. It, it sounded like two baseball bats colliding at high speed. And it was awful. And in mm. the second round, he went for the same kick and Hooker blocks it. And the fight goes on for five, for three rounds, right? Yeah. And after the fight, because Joe Rogan was like talking during the fight, just saying, man, his arm's broken. Like, it's got to be. His arm's broken. So he goes into oh. the octagon and the first thing he says to him, he says, oh, that was a great fight. Um, is your arm broken? <laughs> and he goes, ah, it's just a scratch. Um, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. So, yeah, it turns out he broke his wrist. Did you right? say Hooker won? Yeah, he won. In the decision, wow. Was it, yeah. what did you say? How, what, how many rounds? To, was it was three rounds. Three and rounds. A, and it was a split decision. Uh, split, split decision. decision. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, there were two split decisions. Yep, two splits on the main card. Two splitties. All right. But, but I think both times the right person won. I, I, I'm not scoring the fights a lot when I watch them. I'm just watching them. Yeah. So, when it, when it comes time for the decision... I never really know. I can no, say who no. I think won the fight, um, but barn burners, a lot of them. It was wow. a good. It was a good card. Hmm. But it made me think, man. I was watching it with the guys, and I was just, I just said, I just can't see a world where this can go on much longer. This sport. You reckon? With, with hmm. the concerns around CTE hitting the NFL, the AFL. Yeah. It's all about head knocks. I heard the other day that um, they think the majority of head knocks actually occur. In training, you know, oh, yeah. because you're mm. training, you're, mm. you're training hard. You want to do the, you know, the right thing. Think of how much training head knocks MMA fighters are getting, right? That's a, that's literally, you know, it's a byproduct yeah. of football and and NFL. It's a byproduct of head collisions and stuff. But in fighting, that's the whole thing. Punch them in the head. Yeah. Um, but they try not to get punched in the head much in training, do they? Like they, they sort of. You, you, you're sparring at 30% or something. I don't know yeah. if that's okay because I think there's like you probably have accumulative damage, you know, where you just keep getting these little knocks. You know, it's probably not good for you either. Um, that's a good point about how long it's going to last. No, I could, no, no. I could it's going to last. It's going to last because we just need last. to make some little modifications. It's going all the way, is it? No, no, no. I, we just need to make some modifications to yeah. the sport. Oh, I've yeah, got yeah. some ideas. Oh, great, great. So get rid of head. Any punching into the head, kicking to the head, done, right? Okay. Now, we need to talk about the rest of the body, though, because there's certain fouls in MMA, isn't there? Can you name a foul, something that you can't do? Yeah, a, um, a 12 to 6 elbow. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's one, of the, them, that's one of the fouls. Yep. What's another one? Kicking them in the balls. Kicking them in the balls, right? Now, that seems to hurt the fighters a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, that's like, you know, if, if they you call watch- time. Yeah, yeah. If I'm ever in a fight now, not that I get in fights, but I know what to go for. I've watched enough UFC. You go straight for the balls. Don't worry yeah, I, about it. I got a theory on that. Yeah. These guys, when they get kicked in the balls, they get five minutes, up to five minutes to recover. Now, they'll push and say, no, nah, I'm fine, and they'll get into it, back into it early, sure, right? Yeah, sometimes they're you need a lifetime. five yeah. minutes. You okay? need a they're lifetime. allowed five minutes. Mm. Okay. I think it hurts more because you're not allowed to do it. Right, these guys, oh, the adrenaline's pumping. The adrenaline's pumping, mm. and because they're mm. allowed to feel it, because it was illegal, they're allowed to feel it. They do feel it. Yeah, so it's a bit of a placebo thing. Like you mm. can't. This is the prohibited zone. No one's allowed to touch you there. Then you, you cop a knock there. Yeah, and mm. it's, you're extra sensitive now because it's kind of like infringing yes. upon your rights. Yes, a it's unfair, bit. and it's unfair. Unfair. So we make. Kicking in the dick legal. Oh, no. Yes. yes Please, yes, yes. no. Yes, yes, yes. I don't want to watch it anymore. <laughs> no, neither does, neither does anybody. Right? <laughs> you would get a lot of TKOs via dick kick, right? You get a lot of them. The card would be full of them. They're the new knockout, right? Okay. You got specialists. Right. You got dick kicking specialists. Guys that wow. have been kicking dicks. You know, you got, you got guys who are specialists at being kicked in the dick. Oh. Yeah. Like sumo wrestlers, they can well, like suck up their Well, like that video of that guy who just fucking, like, have you seen, the, he's, like, he's like a monk and he's like trying to prove he feels yeah. no pain. And yeah. he's, he's just receiving multiple shins to the fucking balls, man. He's not even fucking flinching. You get a whole new breed of fighters. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. They yeah. would adapt. Adapt. Unix. <laughs> yeah. I could see Unix out there. Submissions. 
dick oh, submissions. No, okay, now I'm out. Again. You had me. You drew me all the way back in, and now I'm out. No. What are you going to do? Give me like a, a twister, like pull yeah, a twister. On it. What? This is a, crazy. A triangle. But no, they're wearing a cup though. How they're are you still wearing get a cup. It? They're still wearing a cup. Maybe you could sort of lever the cup out of the way or something, and <laughs> get a testicle in your fist. Snap it back, but snap it back in the middle. Oh, but then you don't want to see guys fight through that, do you? No, nah, that'll be the whole sport, right? You'd have the dick specialists just being champs in every category. Yeah, you uh, don't want that. I always got, like, feel a bit sick. <laughs> so we want to have people getting knocked out then. Is that what you're saying? Uh, you're bar- that's barbaric. No, I thought, I thought we were barbaric. going to make both zones. <laughs> they were going to make both zones illegal. I thought you were going to say, like we've had the 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 uh, the dick. I was going to call it a fanny. I don't know. I'm thinking now the, the groin area. Like you yes. can't you, you can't go at anyone's groin, even in the the female sport. I, it probably hurts Correct. a lot. It Correct. probably hurts yes. a lot. Not allowed. Um, I can't I can't you know, empathize with that. I don't really know what's going on there. Sure, but you shouldn't kick people in general. It's a bit of a no. Rule. So they've made uh, one <laughs> zone a no go. So I yeah, thought that we were going to make two zones. You're just saying, no, there should only be one no-go zone and we should move it. Yeah, I think they should do the studies and find out if repeated kick to the dick is like really dangerous. If it is dangerous, then of course they have to outlaw it. Well, um, it's not going to reduce same reason your as CTE. Mm, it's not going to reduce your life expectancy, I don't think. Um, well, we don't know, do we? No, no one's done the studies. No, but it's just kind of common sense. Oh, mate, you're right. Actually, if you damage – there's a lot of hormones going on being mm. created. So if you start damaging the the organ itself, mm. it might not be communicating as well with everything else. Okay. All right. We just need to do the studies. Like they're doing they're doing their due diligence right now with, with the head knock stuff and they just need to do the same thing for the, for the dong. Well, well maybe this is where what UFC is going to um, degenerate mm. into or maybe mm. there'll be some kind of merge between UFC and the competitive endurance tickling uh, <laughs> franchise. It reminds me of um, South Park episode, the Sarcastable thing, where Randy invents a new sport because NFL is getting <laughs> too dangerous. But Randy has this problem where he can't stop being sarcastic and he says, instead of like chasing a football, why don't the kids chase a balloon? And instead of tackling, they just hug each other. And they pass and the, the balloon around, and everyone's hugging. And you have to t- give someone a compliment. And the, the story is oh, that Butters, that's right. Butters becomes really like the best at the game. He becomes like the Tom Brady of the game because it's finally a sport that he can actually get on board with. You know, he's because he's he the balloon, yeah. and he goes, "You're looking so nice today." And then walks to the next person, and, and they're all just hugging each other. That's the whole. That's the whole game. 